So, I hope all of you are comfortable with uh, writing code now. Uh, no, not yet, not fully. So, there were few errors I saw in the lab. Okay. Uh, so, one let me tell you few things which is probably obvious, but not so obvious. How do children learn language? They learn quite quickly, you know, language. How do they learn? Things. No. Another guess. Imitation. So, you just see a child, they just imitate. So, you should imitate good programs and you just quickly try to imbibe. They are really very, very sharp children and the sharpness keeps going down over age. So, thing is to look at good codes, well look at my codes, they are not bad. Uh, so, uh, look at those codes and uh, just look at it carefully. So, few errors which I saw people are doing is, uh, so NP NumPy is a, is a package, is a module. So, import is, do not import NumPy star okay. from num like you do not import just you give it a name either you keep it as numpy import numpy or import numpy as np that is the usual that is a standard in fact. So, when you write a function of a numpy then you have to say np dot. So, you know which function are you working with okay. uh, it is a good idea because there will be lots of functions uh, you will be doing something with linear algebra you will doing something with uh, math library. So, you should be, so that is a good idea to just do things like, so you should always use import uh, in your files, import numpy as np, just make it as a standard stuff and then anything I need like np dot array, a equal to np dot array and it is a function of np, so I can write 2 comma 3. Okay, so, A will give you this. So, this is a good practice and you should always adopt good practice. Do not write a code like you know junk, so you should write clean nice codes. Suppose I want zeros, then it is part of numpy. So, np dot array uh, sorry zeros, zero is a function I was making a mistake yesterday. So, if I say 3, then of course, it will make a 1D array. Okay, so, C will give you this, but I want 3 by 3 array then it should be it takes only a single argument. Okay, so, I cannot write 3 comma 3 that is not, not correct, but I can put this in list. So, it takes a list list no list is one this 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 object is a single single object. So, it is happy that I will take a single object you do not give me two. So, it will work now C will be so, it requires bit of thinking, but you have to again know what is the function, how many arguments are being passed, what can I pass, you need to, you need to think about it. Some people are asking about uh, complex numbers. So, I want a cube root of minus 1. So, minus 1, so if I just say minus 1 cube root, uh, it is not going to give me complex. So, just put a 0 j. So, now it is a complex number. Uh, this guy knows that it is a complex number, and then if I say star star. Yes. Pi lab takes it, but if you are if you are writing inside a fun, inside a file, then you need import. It again depends on the implementation. Some implementation may may not like may not. I mean, it may be part of standard Python, but it's best to import it because it should be. So few things that your program should run on all platforms. You understand? So it runs in Windows machine, but not in Linux machine. So it's best idea to keep a standard import CMath. Then you can do all this. But then it will run everywhere. So is it correct? How do I check? Is exponential i pi by three? You know. So you do i pi is minus one. So if I do one third, is is i pi by three. So exponential i star pi by three. So it should be zero uh, one j. No. So i is not going to take. So, 1 j, 1 j is a is a same as i, so it is same number. Okay. So, you can work with this, so you can solve that cubic equation problem like this. So, uh, when you work with complex number you have to put that 0 j or 1 j or that part. 
So, programming is easy, but you have to be disciplined, patient, and then it will work. But write good codes, I mean, people can write codes, but you have to write decent codes.